Hi, this is part one of a tutorial to show how to use the UC33M audio or Evolution audio, depending on when you got it. MIDI controller for things like DJ programs and whatever. And right now we're going to show how to set up some basic controllers, uh, a really simple setup that you can use with almost any program that has MIDI Learn. Uh, this is how I do it. There may be other ways to do it. There may be better ways to do it. Please let me know in the comments or whatever. First off, let me just say that you need to have the drivers for this, which I will put in the description of the video. You also need to have this Enigma program, which is the editor for all of these different instruments. Uh, so if you have any of these instruments, this tutorial sort of applies to you. You can use one of these things as an ad hoc DJ controller or for any other kind of MIDI learning program, Fruity Loops or whatever. So let's get right down to it. You can see here I have all of the sliders and knobs sequence starting at number 20. Control 20, parameter is nothing, channel 0. MSB 127, LSB is 0, nothing, 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 no comment needed or anything. And each one of these faders is set up exactly the same way. So you can just do this yourself. Create a blank template uh, and just start here and number your way up. We got 20 to 27. Ignore this one for now. And then we go right up the line. 36. And then we come to 52, which coincidentally just happens to end to end on the general MIDI number for master volume, which is generally what this is used for, though, in DJ programs, especially virtual DJ, which is what I'm going to be showing in the second part of this tutorial. Uh, this can be used for other things also. So that's pretty simple. Just go through, create, rename your uh, preset here. Super simple like me, and that's uh, probably shouldn't have a capital I, but anyway. Uh, okay, so that's all the sliders. That part's really easy. Just go ahead and make this. It'll only take you a few minutes. Just go one at a time, copy in the same exact thing for each one. No big deal. Now, here we have the buttons, and the following buttons are programmable. Um, these here are multi-use, they're programmable, and they're used by the device itself whenever you use one of its functions. So we start here. Control is number 147, that's the MIDI, general MIDI control for note on-off. Meaning while you hold it, the note is on, when you let it go, the note is off. And we start with note zero, and you can actually drag these right onto the knobs from here from the MIDI notes thing. So that makes this part even quicker. Just drag C sharp 2, D2, etc. right into right as you go along. You can see. And then I started up here, 4, 5, 6, etc. up to note 13 up here. Uh, you know, save your user bank. When this is all done, then there's two more steps before we go on to the second part of this. This is, uh, like I said, this is really short and sweet. You want to send the current bank to the device, and don't worry about overwriting the presets that are in the UC33. There are four programs. Half of the things that the presets are for don't exist anymore, and the other half work differently than they did 10 years ago, so it's not really important. You can always get them back later. So we send it to the UC33. Okay, sysx sent. Now, um, I don't have a cam set up to show this, so I'll just sort of point it out. After you've done uploading this, your UCC is on, has taken the bank. You want to hit this button here on the actual device. Recall 01. Just like that, real quick. Recall 01. And that will actually load this bank into the active memory of the UC33. So uh, other controllers, uh, you know, you just have to adapt this to your own needs. Come up with your own scheme. 
generally use the sliders and knobs in about the same numbers and everything, so it's pretty simple. Anyway, that's it for part one. Shows how to set this thing up to be used for uh, DJ programs and general programs. I'm going to use it with Virtual DJ, and that will be in part two of this tutorial. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys. We'll get back to that shortly, and I uh, hope uh, this was useful to you. And like I said, in the description, you'll find the download page for the best device drivers that I found. Anyway, don't use the built-in Windows one. They're kind of laggy. Uh, and I'll also have the download for the Enigma program, which you can use for all these different controllers. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was useful to you. See you all later.